First up, we're going to give you some rookie running backs to look out for this year. We're not going to spend too much time on Darren McFadden, except to say that the naysayers who are predicting a slow start for the burner from Arkansas are way off base. Remember, this is a Raider offensive line that opened huge holes last year for Lamont Jordan and a very average Justin Fargus. And that was with a passing game that scared nobody. I like what the Raiders have done to improve in the offseason. They've given Jamarcus Russell some weapons, and with some seasoning, the second-year man will allow McFadden to easily be a top-15 back next season, especially facing some shaky run defenses with that last-place schedule. The guy I really like to be this year's breakout rookie back, though, is none other than the Steelers' first-round pick, Richard Mendenhall. I know a lot of people will be scared off from him with splitting carries with Willie Parker, but I'm not buying it. I love Fast Willie, but he's had back-to-back -back seasons with a huge number of carries, the sort of workload that has proven murderous in the past for far bigger and stronger backs like LJ and Sean Alexander. I see a situation where the two start off sharing carries and the rookie taking over a la Adrian Alday Peterson last year. You can probably grab Mendenhall a few rounds later than McFadden and still get the same value. I'm extremely high on Mendenhall this year. A lot of folks are also high on the Bears running back Matt Forte, but I'm not sold. I do understand the no one else to run the ball theory over in Chicago, but that sort of thinking led me to waste a pick on Green Bay's Brandon Jackson last year, and I'm not making that mistake again. The Bears are a mess, and I do not think Forte has the tools to succeed at this level. 